hello viewers i welcome you all from hltf tech channel and today we will talk about the roles of uh, domain controller and uh, if you have multiple domain controllers then you must know that they must be a primary domain controller uh, which is the master domain controller and for uh, at various locations you may have additional domain controllers so there is a difference between primary domain controller and additional domain controllers so what is the main difference let's say we have this domain controller which is a primary domain controller and if I go into uh, the uh, race uh, operations master here you can see that there are three types of uh, operations that are available here the first one is red the second one is PDC and the next one is uh, infrastructure so <clears throat> there are three types of uh, these operation masters the first one is the operation master is the uh, that is read it uh, manages the allocation of red pools to other domain controllers only one server in the domain perform this role so this is very important thing that uh, since only one server in this domain can perform this role uh, so for better understanding you should know that uh, this is uh, a primary domain controller and uh, this domain controller assigns various values to various red pools to other domain controllers for example when that uh, red pools become full then they ask their primary domain controller to allocate more red, red pools okay uh, similarly they also registered the allocated pools to their uh, master domain controller so that uh, the replication and uh, the uh, integrity of all data that is with all the domain controllers that are working in your forest or domain uh, may have some same thing so the next thing is pdc pdc is primary domain controller and uh, the operation master that is the master of operations emulate the functions of primary domain controller for pre-window clients only one server in the domain perform this role okay so the la the third step that is is the infrastructure infrastructure master ensures consistency of objects for inter-domain operations within a specific domain it uh, ensures that all the objects are consistent and uh, the master reference is only the primary domain controller and only one server can do the this thing so uh, if you say uh, if you have multiple domain controllers and uh, since you know that all of these uh, functions that are uh, available at this level that are red PDC infrastructure one of them fails uh, due to any corruption PDC you have to shift your uh, PDC master operations to your additional domain controller or we can say that you can make uh, you have to make uh, your uh, additional domain controller uh, a primary domain controller okay because I have given you a scenario that your primary domain controller has failed due to some corruption so uh, for that purpose this is the main domain controller and here you will define that additional domain controller in which you want to change your uh, domain operations of primary domain controller so for that purpose you uh, change the red operations then you uh, same follow the procedure for PDC operations and then you follow the same procedure for uh, infrastructure operations so after transforming all the roles your primary domain controller will uh, roles will be shifted from your actual server to the new server after that your new server will be a primary domain controller and it will overtake the responsibilities of all these three operations that are operation master components so uh, in my environment I have only one domain controller so I cannot give you practical demonstration but uh, in many scenarios I have worked on it you just have to change the role it will execute some command task prompt commands and after that it will smoothly uh, shift all the roles provided that these all domain uh, uh, these uh, both domain controllers are reachable similarly you can also change if your uh, primary domain controller is not reachable you can also perform the operation you will uh, just create a new domain controller or, or you, uh, if you have already an existing additional domain controller you will specify the name here and you will change uh, all these three operations masters 
after that your new additional domain controller will become a primary domain controller so i thank you all for watching this short tutorial